Today, I was over at my boy Blake's, you know Blake's from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. But I was over there having a good time and I get a call from my buddy Franklin, raw fishing. So he called me and told me there was a giant snake hanging out around his koi pond. Oh my gosh, he's insane. I'm gonna grab him by the tail and then I'm gonna jump out that way, okay? All right, do it. Oh my God, look at him. There he goes. Ah! What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode. Guys, this is future me right now. It is late, it's like 11 o'clock at night, but I am just getting around to telling all of you guys what I did today. So today I was over at my boy Blake's, you know Blake's from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. But I was over there having a good time and I get a call from my buddy Franklin, raw fishing. So he called me and told me there was a giant snake hanging out around his koi pond and his turtle area. So I was right there, I was five minutes away, I was at Blake's house, so I, got over there as fast as I could. I literally sped going 50 miles an hour. It was only like a five minute drive. But anyways, I was going 50 miles an hour to get over to the Raw Fam. And I got there and there was about a nine foot python. Now all of you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, you would know that Florida, especially South Florida, is overridden with pythons. They could literally be anywhere at this point. So I just wanna show you guys a couple minutes of that and then we're gonna hop into everything that we did today at the Raw Fam. So if you guys wanna see that, I'm gonna show you right now. So how are you gonna get them out of there? Dude, I, I'm gonna get in there and I think I'm gonna grab them. It is insane. So these guys are semi-aquatic, so I'm gonna actually- You gonna get, get in there for me? Yeah. yeah I'm all right, I would hurry, buddy. All right, all right, let's do this. Guys, so this thing just got away from us. Ooh, it looks really slippery. Yeah, be careful, those green rocks are insane. Oh my gosh, dude. Hold on, his head's coming this way. His head's definitely, I don't know if you guys can see him that I'm gonna well. Come, I'm gonna come in that way. All right, I would definitely be careful, buddy. Yeah. Yep, yep. Just make sure he doesn't eat any of my koi, buddy. So we were sitting there. We went to grab the box. I didn't know when I grabbed the red part of that box over there instead of the black, and it just popped right off. Grab him, bud. Hold on, hold on. All right. I'm going to grab him by the tail, and then I'm going to jump out that way, okay? All right, do it. Oh. See the arowanas? Head. Right down, that's his head. They are, oh, not, his head's right next to it. Oh no, his head's over there. Oh my god, look at him. There he goes. Okay, okay, hold on. How are we gonna get this guy out? Oh. Ah. Be careful. He almost got me. Be careful. Get, get next to him. Get next to him. Get next to him. All right, all right. You guys hear that? Use this net right here. That's a snake. I'll be all able right. to just move his head around. Look at him. gonna get him oh. oh we got him there you go good job buddy How good cool job good job give me some knocks give me some knocks heck, heck yeah man. that was insane okay okay so what are we gonna do next so we gotta get this guy you want me to grab his tail yeah yeah grab his tail, grab his tail. okay let me grab this guy oh, okay um what we're gonna do we gotta put this guy in here uh no more of that we don't want this guy to escape guys so we got the snake in the box but we got a sulcata tortoises we have to put him back outside in the pen because we all know that the snake yeah. was potentially going after him. I don't my, know yet. My mom was like really scared because she's like not used to big snakes. Yeah. So the first thing she thought was, yo, these big snakes are trying to eat the koi and, you know, obviously these mm -hmm. tortoises. You want to take the necessary precautions, you know, especially yeah, when you yeah. don't know what's going on. So if you guys look down here, these guys are so cute. You want to see me grab one of these guys out? Let's see. Oh, beautiful. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. Look at these little sulcatas. They got to be what? A year old? Two um, years? Probably a little bit more than a year. Probably two and a half around there. Yeah, okay, so look, they're actually gonna start running. So you see these? It's kind of like a tree. So their shell originally started that big and they grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And that guy is just off. It's like a race for him. He loves it. Oh, He's yeah. like freedom. Now, did you raise them from babies? So actually people donated these guys to Blake and then Blake gave them to me. Very cool. Uh, these guys are freaking awesome. We have a lot of fun with these guys. I love tortoises, man. They're my favorite. What's up, buddy? You want to get some grass? You want to eat something? Yeah. He's probably a little shy to go back in his snake pen because uh, there was a snake in it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, wow. he's definitely going to go crazy. So let's grab this guy. and then, I'll grab the other one. Yeah, so before um, before we start you know, moving around, 
you know, you want to put these guys back and you want like a little tour, you might as well if you're here. Yeah, sure. So we could do that. So we could go put these guys back inside of the, like the little tourist pin and then uh, we'll give you guys like a little tour of the raw fam. Perfect. Come on, wait, do you know if it's a male or female? Uh, this one is looking like a female. It's got a short stubby tail. Let's see this one. That looks like a male. female as well. Who? No? It's to the side. It's like all the way over here. Oh, it's def no. it's kind of like a fly river, huh? So it's like really short. You really short, and the males will have these giant long tails. So these are definitely females. I mean, they may change. They're still young. Let's put them in. Wow, it's an awesome enclosure you have. I mean, look at this. He's got the hibiscus in there. He's got the hibiscus flowers and leaves that they can eat. Yeah. They have water dishes. They have a little ramp they can walk on. They have little burrows. This is really cool, man. Bro, we'll be out here filming a video, and I'll look over and be like, "Yo, look, my tortoise is on the ramp." <laughs> yeah. And he'll be all the way up here. Watch, he loves it too. Immediately, they'll just run right off the ramp. It's pretty funny. Let's see him. You want to run off? Come on. Come on. Oh, he will. Trust me. He's not camera shy. Uh, maybe a little. If you're getting a little close. <laughs> he's going backwards, but he's still going off the ramp. Oh, back, back. He's got forward and reverse apparently. If we back up. All right, Jacob. This is this is something I want for you, buddy. Okay. You're gonna hop in here and you're gonna find my lizard. What, what kind of lizard are we talking about? So my lizard is somewhere in here. Sorry guys, I was looking at Jacob in the background. I'm gonna look at you guys real quick. So um, my lizard is in here. It's a panther chameleon, guys. Somewhere in here. And I'm gonna grab the camera real quick. quick. All right. Ready for this, buddy? I'm gonna look. All right, so uh, you're hot. You're steaming hot. You're really hot. I'm really hot? Just kidding, you're cold. I'm cold. Sorry. Oh, I see him right here. Oh, you got him? Oh, what a beauty. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I know I'm a big scary guy. Come here. Oh my gosh. Dude, look how insane these colors are. Oh my gosh, he's wow. gorgeous. This makes me really want to get one. I kind of want to get one now. <laughs> Bro, he's gorgeous. Look at it, it's got those. Oh my gosh. Well, I wouldn't point at him. <laughs> he, yeah. he might start getting yeah. mad. Look at him, he's got those beautiful crimson reds. He's got those teals. He's got that lime green, beautiful. Now what is this, is this an ambanja? You know what locality so, it is? I have no idea what locale it is. All I know is, is that he's gorgeous and I had to get him. So sick. I know it could be Ambanja, Nosy Bee. I mean, Dang, I, you know I, more about my chameleon than, than I know about him. But hold on, let me show you guys this real quick. We're gonna zoom in on his face. Hi, buddy. Beauty. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. He's so sick, dude. It's awesome. How long have you had him? So I've had this guy for about a year. Nice. He's definitely growing. He's going behind you. Oh, you go into the bush? No, you can't go there. I'm sorry, bud. Look at that. He's got that fully prehensile tail, too, so he can actually hang his full body weight by his tail. There you go, buddy. So cool. He's gorgeous. Think he likes it outside? I think he does. Let's let him hang out here. Bye, buddy. Yeah, he wants to get off of me. He's like, <laughs> get away from Bro, me. Bro, that was sick, huh? So sick. So, believe it or not, not only do we have this chameleon, those little tortoises down there, but behind you is a, is a little pond. You want to take the camera? Wait, Let's take a look. have you ever seen Jaws? I've never, I've never seen Jaws. I've never been here. Have you ever fed Jaws? I've never fed Jaws either. Time to feed Jaws. Let me go get a little bait. Wait there. All right. So we have like a little baby, yeah, a little thing. You guys ready for this? Let's see. Let's right, see I'm going to show you guys that. You guys saw uh, before, obviously, the snake attacking. I'm going to show you guys Jaws attacking. I've never met Jaws. It's my first time at Franklin's. Let's see what he's, see what Jaws can do. Come on. Oh, no way. No way. Oh! oh! Bro, <laughs> that was sick. Look at Jaws. Oh my gosh, look how sick this is. A massive pond. I mean, this thing's got to be, how big is this? Like 16, six, foot. 16 foot? Wow. Yeah. Huge. Big boys. Insane. Now, watch. You guys, you want to see something funny, Jacob? What? Put your hand in there. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Don't, oh. <laughs> Don't move, oh. boy. They're going to come. So actually pretty sick. Come on, come on. Let's go, bro. Let's come go. on. So believe it or not, there's something really cool in here. If you guys look right there, see that? Zoom, 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 zoom. zoom. Albino oh arowana. God. Dude, those are insane. Bro, they're gorgeous. Beautiful so we have fish. Those are actually silver arowanas, but they're just albino. So if I have like a, a sulcata tortoise, and then you have like the you know albino cicada tortoise or like um the alpha or whatever they call it what you know the the term right albino no no what's the other one head 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 albino head albino there you go okay guys so we just got the python in the bin and unfortunately we are going to have to euthanize it by state law Ugh. what are you doing bro 
You got, you got yourself a python? Franklin's it. got, he, he killed it. He got him. <laughs> so guys, unfortunately, by state law, we do have to euthanize the python. It's an invasive species. It's not supposed to be here, and it's killing all of our native wildlife. And you could see it was even in his pond, and it very well could have eaten one of his fish, could have eaten anything around here. So, yeah. Franklin, thanks for giving me the call. It was really fun. It was definitely a lot of fun, guys. Yeah, honestly, it. I'm just so happy that thing is out of the raw fam. And uh, honestly, uh, so whatever animal you want to feed that thing to. Yeah. All right, bro. I'm going to head out now. Sounds good, brother. Later. See you later. So that is what I did today at the Raw Fam. Now, I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching this video. I had an absolute blast. When Franklin called me, I was ecstatic. I was almost 100% positive that it was a python. And guess what? It was a python. So we got over there. We wrestled that python. But unfortunately, my least favorite part about it all is we had to euthanize this python. Now, these snakes, please, guys, listen before you comment. They're an invasive species. I'm gonna link an article down below if you wanna read about the invasive pythons here in Florida. They have killed 90% of our native wildlife. So we have to protect our own ecosystem in Florida. And sadly, you have to have a very special permit to own them. The zoos have too many of them. They do not want them. So the only thing to do is euthanize them. You can't send them back over to Asia because they're full of parasites. And even if you deworm them, it's just, it's a disaster. The only solution is to euthanize them. It really is horrible. I don't like to do it, but it is the reality of the situation. So if you guys like this video, please go give it a thumbs up. Go comment down below what you thought. And if you're not subscribed, first link down below. Love you guys.